were missing from the vlog yesterday, but he's here, he's around. I'm doing some yoga, first thing in the morning. It looks really sunny outside, so we're gonna go out on an adventure, but yeah, I'm gonna do some yoga. I'm doing the 30 day yoga thing with Adrian. I just wanted to show you guys the setup here. If you can see it in the light there, there you go. It's pretty cool, hey? Got like this uh, big mic, road mic on top. And then you need like this little thing in here to make it all work. It, it's a little, a little bit expensive, but hey, it works. So I'm not gonna complain. Hopefully now the audio is good and I can rattle around without disturbing you guys. All right, made it to the nature. It's a lot of people here. So there's a location I have in mind. I want to go and take some OnlyFans pics there. It's a bit of effort. I, I could have walked here, but it would have taken about three hours to get here. So we drove, we cheated. If it was summertime, I would have walked. But we don't have that much light to play with, boys. Okay, let's do it. I don't think I've actually ever been here in winter. I wonder what it's like. Looks like they've done a lot of maintenance since last time I was here. Because the path is like falling apart. So many people outside for some reason. Like it, it's kind of bothering me because <laughs> I'm not used to it. Usually I come out to these nature spots and I'm the only one around. But now there's like families of worth of people. And it's like a Monday afternoon. Does no one work anymore? Am I am I tripping? Like why has no one got anything going on? I mean yeah, go embrace it, enjoy your time, but. This is my thing. <laughs> Why is everyone doing the same thing as me? I thought I was unique in that I came outside every day. But no, actually people do it. Nice. So yeah, basically we've come off the path because I was getting a bit unsettled by old people. I just want to walk around barefoot and enjoy myself without being judged all the time. Also it's hard to vlog when there's just constant stream of people around me. I'm doing that thing where I, uh... I'm doing that thing where I walk and walk uphill and try and talk, and then I'm just out of breath every every sentence. I'll stop. It's one of the warmest Januarys I've ever felt in the UK. It's so peculiar. Like I'm sweating and I'm only wearing a hoodie. Just, <laughs> I don't get it. What's happening? What happened to winter? Why is it now summer again? All right, now I think we're lost. Uh... What a path. So gloopy. Like, look at this. You ready? So Poppy would love this. <laughs> bloop, bloop. What are you eating? You're not a sheep, bro. You're a flipping dog. For some reason, here where the sticks kind of go like, bloop, towards the sun, looks really trophy. It's strange, I've never been here in winter. 
So seeing everything without any leaves is really peculiar. It's definitely a more magical place in summer. I'll come back here in summer. If, if I can continue the vlogs for a whole year, imagine that. I could revisit all these spots in every, every uh, climate, every season. I can show you, show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm walking and talking. I need to get to the place I want to go to. It's just hard to not show you guys. We have to go through this little gap here and up there. It's quite nice though, hey. I made the mistake of not charging the GoPro, so I have to keep putting it in my bag, charging it, getting it out, putting the mic back in. And also, I've noticed that a little bit of the fluff is in frame. So if you guys have any solutions to that, I need to basically push it, push it up a bit to get it out of frame, but I don't know how to do that. There you go. I've been up here so many times. This isn't why I'm here though. I'm here for the other waterfall. So we're gonna go there next. What is it? What? What is it? What? What? <laughs> what is it? What? Basically there's a bunch of infinity pools all the way up this thing. So we're gonna go up there, get the shot that I want. Unfortunately, because it's winter, there's no sun hitting this valley. As you can see, the sun's like hitting the mountain, being blocked by these two here, so it's all shadowy. But we'll get the shot anyway, and then um, at least then I have it as a reference for the summer when I come back and do it properly. But it's such a nice spot. I can't wait to bring people up here. You can camp up there too, it's really nice. All right, I gotta try to get Jasper over this. So when I, whenever, whenever there's like a tricky thing to climb, I just have to go first, go ahead. You see him behind, he's trying to figure it out. Go on, I know you can do it, Jasper. Come on, up, up. He's hesitant, okay, I'll give him, a, give him a hand. Come on, I know you can do it, you've done worse than this. Come on, up, up. Up, Jess, up here. Up here, come on, up. Yep, up. Jump, up, up. Come on, Jazz. I know you can do it. Go on. Up, up. Go on. Yeah, and then jump, 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 jump. Yeah. There you go. You figured it out. Yeah. See, you got four legs, bro. See, he knows what to do. I try not to get too involved. I'll let him figure it out himself because. He's done plenty of stuff like that, he knows what, he knows what he's doing. All right, the climb. When I came out this morning, I don't think I even told you what my plan was. Just kind of started doing it. But this is the plan. <laughs> I had an image in my mind that I wanted to take today. We're gonna try my best to, to get it. All right, here's the camping spot. See, someone's already made a fire. It's relatively flat, but yeah. Give this to wash in, bathe in, whatever. Really nice. Nice little pool here. Shower. It's a great spot. I'm about to get naked and get in the water. Not looking forward to that. It's gonna be icy. My feet are already frozen. It's not turning out how I wanted to, but I'm done. I'm freezing. I can't do any more. 
<sighs> so the pictures kind of turned out how I wanted them to. Obviously, I need light to actually do it. But it's okay. The proof of concept is there. I can come back in summer. Uh, I think we go back down. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do this evening. Um, probably edit all evening. Maybe stream a little bit. I need to edit a gaming video as well. So when I started the gaming channel, I had an editor that was helping me out for like a moment, but then he got stuck into his own work, doing his own his own music and stuff like that. So now I'm back to editing the gaming stuff for myself. Does anyone out there have any experience and can they give me any advice on how to quickly make gaming videos from snippets of the stream? Because I, I don't know how to clip stuff while I'm streaming. So I have to go back into the VOD and then clip everything. And also like recording the VOD. What's the best way to get the highest quality out of it um, quickly? Like I, I don't know, without downloading the entire VOD, like how do you do it? Maybe I do just have to download the whole VOD? I don't know. So if anyone out there is a video editor understands how it all works, please let me know. A forbidden water slide. <laughs> That looks like a death slide. I mean, it might be <laughs> possible, but I'm not really willing to give it a go. Might be possible. The path is way too slippery, so I have to kind of just walk through the bushes. It's all fine. This stuff's it's very spongy. It's kind of like earth coral instead of ocean coral. I've already slipped a couple times <laughs> just walking on the flat. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that said lovely things in the last video. It's always nice coming back with an idea or sharing all my ideas and having feedback on that. So I'm glad that you guys are all very supportive of everything I try. Uh, daily vlog, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm obviously only on day one, so I haven't built that trust with you guys yet, but I promise I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm actually doing it. Last time we had a daily vlog going, I think we lasted 30 days and then I went sailing and it all fell apart. But yeah, that 30 days is awesome. I managed to get, I think half a million views in that 30 days, just because of the momentum we built from daily posting. So we're gonna try and do it again. Like I'm aiming for a million views a month on this channel. Never hit that before, not on the second channel anyway. Because back in the day I used to, I used to vlog every day, but put it into one video and post it once a week. So I was posting once a week on the main, once a week on the second, and the views were just crazy. But that's because there was so much going on compact into one video a little file done for the week and it had all my youtube friends in it so people that weren't even that big of a fan of me would watch it to see them little hack there now it's just me and now i have to be like the most extravagant version of myself but i don't uh, i don't want to i'm not putting anything anything on i'm just being me okay i'm not going to try and entice more people to watch like if you want to watch you can watch i'm not here to scream at you to like and subscribe like you guys can do whatever whatever the heck you want but daily vlogging is more more raw it's 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 my life without having to try and entertain you like i'm just showing you what i get up to and if you're interested in that kind of stuff then <laughs> then you can watch do you like you did before look just come on this bit first this bit yeah and then this bit yep and then up here and then over come on Whiny baby. I watched uh, Steffi Lee's new video yesterday and I was texting her while I was watching it because I was really enjoying it. But she's so mean to one of her dogs, like the, the white one, but she's like so mean to them. Steffi, you're just bullying your animals. You were talking about getting a dog for so long, now you've got multiple. <laughs> you gotta be nice to them. <sighs> this little area reminds me so much of Hobbiton. I'm not sure why. I just recently rewatched The Hobbit 1, 2, 3 with Poppy. Uh, I think she watched them all for the first time. So now it's like fresh in my mind. I just want that reality. I want to live in a Hobbit hole. Not so much because of the movie, but because it makes the most sense. Animals live underground. We're the only ones that live above ground. I don't really understand it. I guess birds also, but they build little nests. They're a bit of an anomaly. But all other animals live underground because it's warmer. <sighs> it's 
That's all right. Yesterday I, I was explaining, yesterday's video I was explaining that my end goal, there's no timeline on it, but my end goal, get some land, build a hobbit hole. Can you imagine a hobbit hole series from me learning how to build a house for the first time? <laughs> it's been in my mind for years, but I never thought it was achievable. And uh, then, I, then I, I realized that, hey, everything, ah, <laughs> I kicked a rock. Everything is achievable. Anyone can achieve anything because people do. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your circumstances, you can achieve anything. So that inspired me again to think, okay, well, what are the steps? How do you actually get land that you can build a hobbit hole on? Obviously money, that's the number one, but it's not necessary. People get land in all different kinds of ways, mostly inherit it, uh, but I'll find a way to get land in the perfect place where I can build a hobby hole. I want it away from human sounds, so away from roads, preferably in a mountain so you have a view, but uh, I'm really open to anything. So if anyone out there has land or knows anyone that has land for sale, um, I'm interested. Hit me up. Let's figure this out because I think it would be so cool to make a whole series building a hobbit hole. I would do it so fast as well because I'm quite efficient when I actually um, put all my effort into something, I'm quite fast. So uh, I think I could do it really quick and it'd be a great series to watch. I'm sure you guys would love to see the, pro the whole process of me digging out the space, putting in all the timber. Um, I want to build the whole thing with reclaimed wood. So from abandoned buildings, uh, trees that had already fallen. I'm not going to chop anything down. Nothing's going to be killed in order for me to live. Um, yeah. Is there a word for that? Like vegan, but also I respect plants. Obviously I eat plants, but just the ones that are edible. I don't want to chop a tree down because I can't eat it. Trees fall naturally and I've never understood the whole... Oh, look at this. There used to be a beautiful old growth forest right there. They chopped it all down a few years ago when I wasn't living here and uh, I don't know who's responsible, but they haven't re rebuilt it. They just left all the stumps so now nothing else can grow. It's really douchebaggery. Is that a word? I don't know. But I'll never understand it. Um, obviously it's all greed, wealth, people just want money. But you shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Same thing, you shouldn't be allowed to kill animals. Like we're not allowed to kill humans. Well, most of us aren't. So why, why animals? Why is their life worth less than ours? And then trees are even lower than that. People, people have no respect for the trees. Well, the trees have been around longer than we have. Our puny little human lives. Like they don't, they don't even think of in terms of years. They think in like centuries. Like trees just go. They don't care what we're doing around them, but they're just trying their best to survive. Well, we're constantly interfer interfering. Oh, look here. I could use pieces like that for the roof, the arch roofs. It all, it all, it all exists. It falls over naturally. Just gotta go out and find it and then find a way to transport it. My guess would be a quad bike with a trailer. I don't know, it's pretty easy to access things here, but other places maybe not. Yeah, I've just been thinking about it. Um, any ideas, I'm open to everything. Obviously I read all the comments when you guys the comments. But now all our brains are thinking about this whole, whole idea. Uh, we can probably figure it out a lot faster than if it was just me holding my ideas to myself. Yeah, I encourage anyone out there to discuss your ideas openly. Um, obviously if you're trying to patent something, maybe don't disco discuss it openly, but if you have ideas and you don't know how to <laughs> realize them, uh, make them physical, um, speak about them. Uh, and just see what happens, see what the universe can con conjure. <laughs> I just pulled over because look at the moon. Wow. It's pretty epic. I spent so many hours just staring at these screens and doing nothing. We're really just wasting time. I've got to get out of the habit of wasting my time because I don't have time when you're daily vlogging. You just have to be on the go all the time bad. 
I don't want to be working like late into the night every night. I want to be able to have things done so I can relax, eat food, and sleep. <laughs> um, I had a phone call with Poppy, and she was telling me like we should get on this really good sleep schedule so that we can actually achieve things in winter time. And I want to, but I have so much editing to do in the night times. Anyway, I'm done with this video. The video that you saw yesterday is a video I filmed with Poppy in the beginning of January. It came out to like five minutes of footage. Five minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I even bothering to upload it, but I think the footage is cute and I don't want to just hold on to it, so I'm posting it anyway. I'm going to end this vlog here. Uh, I talked enough today. I'm just thinking, what do I do next? What's, what's my next adventure? What's, what's tomorrow going to bring? I try not to plan it. I try to just go into the day and find something to do. But if I can come up with some, like, some ideas, I can write them down. And then I know what to do immediately. I don't have to think about it. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like the video. See you uh, tomorrow. Maybe every day. Subscribe.